There's always something getting unplugged. Always something getting undid. Always something getting unplugged. Always something getting undid. Do we have two actual live shows in rapid succession? One on Friday and one on Monday. One on Monday. We'll actually have one on Friday, too. Holy content, Batman. Holy content, Batman. We're here in room of Laurent. Room of Laurent. Woo, dog, I can feel that down in my colon. Uh, what do you guys want to do first? Let's go boom, that do good, that down, down, that. Here, a little song of mine from back in day. Back in days of yore. When I was even more of a pirate. No, I was never more of a pirate than I am this very damn moment. You know, a lot of people look back. I don't look back, I look now. Now! Now! Here we go. <laughs>
play the melody that we do. But we did it. Yeah. 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 Can you dig it? Can you dig it? That was a song called uh, Mulligatawny Delta from my Radio Free Gristle record. It has kind of a, an exotic flair. And uh, right around the time I was going to be naming the song, I was eating Indian food, and I was having some mulligatawny soup, and it spilled, and it made it into a little delta at the, uh, the edge of the table. And I thought, mulligatawny delta. Well, all right. Can you dig it? But <laughs> Absolutely. The Boneyard? The Boneyard, we're coming. <laughs>
class of what amp I'm playing through. I'm playing through this Royalist behind me. It is the Tone King Royalist. And I'm also going through a Saldano extension cabinet in lieu of getting my matching Tone King cabinet. And it, it is powerful, and it is majestic, it is powerful. It is a powerful amp. Joe Wyatt in the house, say what? 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 John Hayden says, loving the pedal, Greg. I'm glad you're digging it. It's what you're hearing right now as I'm using the Gristle King with the doggone Royalist. I've got the Royalist set, so it's just starting to give a little bit. <laughs> doesn't have any reverb by the amp, I just have a little bit of slap back. Just a little. There's a little bit of slap back. It's slapping a cheek and leaving a mark. I got a little bit of slap back. Loving the cheek and a little bit of pop a little bit of tattoo. That's right. Nothing wrong with any of that. What did that one do? Do, deck it, deck it, do. Yeah. And, and then instead of going to the four, it goes to the B flat. And then it goes back to the B flat. And then A, A flat. Do. So this is a song that's on actually on the new vinyl. Ladies and gentlemen, new vinyl available, gregcock.com. It's, uh, it's called uh, Melting the Farmhouse. We performed live at a farmhouse in beautiful rural Wisconsin and uh, captured the results and put it on vinyl. And there's also delicious T-shirts available with the same doggone artwork. Where? Gregcock.com. A place of power. Gregcock.com. Can you dig it? Gregcock.com. What about the Saldano behind? That's the um, that is the Astro 20. That is currently not plugged in. That's a great amp too, though. That's a great amp too. A uh, Scooby Dooby Doo. <laughs> Vamp on that till I come in with the head and then yeah. What do they
my shirt. Howlin' Wolf is on my shirt. Howlin' Wolf. Oh. I got a sick leg of fire breathing down. I, hey, hola. Leland. Leland Berg. Kevin O'Connor says Cockman Turner Overdrive. Hmm. We appreciate y'all tuning in to our rock show. Rock show, rock show. Breaking Bad is indeed on Dylan's shirt. Say my name. <laughs> Say it. Hey. Don't spray it. Can you dig it? Y'all having fun out there? We're having a good time. We like music.
doggone good folks that felt pretty doggone good a little uh, interpretation if you will of Mr. Hendrix doing a thing called machine gun machine gun machine gun now what we're gonna do is anyone's guess what we will do now is anyone's guess. I thought we were about to do the whole effect of an angel. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> oh, you want a little Villanova? We could probably do that. That's always a good one. That's always a good one to go a little. Thank you. 
Actually, that was not the ventilator on that song. For that one, I used the uh, <clears throat> Roto, uh, Retro Vibe, the Jam Pedals Retro Vibe, which is the Univibe thing of a Bob Rooney. Thing of a Bob Rooney. It makes me feel so good. Thing of a Bob Rooney. You know what? It makes me, it makes me feel so good. Oh, damn. Uh oh, Ooh, hear that? Strange, strange oh. sounds from beyond, ladies and gentlemen. Strange sounds from beyond are good for your soul. Oh. Tones of the fence. You know, but. but to do with this uh, with this particular setup now that I'm using this uh, Tone King Royalist, which is basically a Marshall. I got it set on the GTM 45 setting, and it uh, it's chocolatey and robust. <laughs> it's chocolatey and robust. <laughs> Don't know what to do. 
so glad, I'm so glad, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. I'm so glad, I'm so glad, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Uh, can you dig it? I'm so glad, I'm so glad, I'm glad, and I'm glad, and I'm glad again. And one more time, I'm glad. Is that Joe Mass out there? Joe Mass, he kicks ass. I said, Joe Mass, he don't take no sass. Joe Mass, he kicks ass. We have, we have, we have. I will see you in Texas, my friend. We're going to see you down at the Dallas International Guitar Festival. Jackson Ruble, thank you very much for the rubles. Jackson Ruble, thank you for the cash. It feels so good. It feels so good. We thank you. Eric Gale, say, please say hello to your wife and child. They were, they were quite fun to hang out with. That was a good times there and beautiful. Where the hell were we? We were in um, Asheville. Asheville, not Nashville, although we were in Nashville slightly before that. And uh, we are coming to the Village Idiot. We are indeed. All the tour dates should be uh, up on the old website for the next tour anyway. Uh, more dates will be coming in for the rest of the year, of course, but the uh, uh, next month's gigs are up there. We like to keep people in mystery. Yes. Mystery. They don't know what's going down. They're so, they say, I don't know. They said, I don't know. Uh, and then we were in Charleston. That is correct. And that was good times. With Maddie K, what do you see? Maddie K, hey. Deserted Cities of the Heart. Oh, that's a good one, too. Yeah. Uh, Adam Baum says Dylan's outfit is a bit racy. Adam Baum, Adam Baum, he finds it racy. Adam Baum, Adam Baum. Blind Lewis, you are you are suggesting a lot of songs I like quite a bit. Uh, we don't know a lot of those with this particular ensemble, though. Uh, we could do one more cream tune, though, if you are so inclined. We could go. We could do.
You might find Kate Middleton in there. there Where is she? Politician. She's in the big black car. She's with that politician. Uh, where is Kate? Where is Kate? Where is Kate? Da -da -da -da. TJ Beard says that Tone King, especially, actually has a little more spank on the clean side and a tad bit more girth on the country. Yeah, it does. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a beast. It does what it need to. Thank you, Tom Beatty. Yeah, Tom. Tom Beatty contributed. Uh, leg up, foot out. Jay, we're going to learn that one. we got to learn that one. I'll learn it by Friday. Okay, we'll learn it by Friday. I got I to I refresh that one, too. It's, it's a hard one. It's a, it's a bit of a hard tune to play. Hey. It does. It absolutely does. Um, you know what we haven't done for a while? A little instrumental version of that James Gang classic. What about the lead? Which one? Oh, we could do the lead as well. We got, oh, we got, we got time for all the other ones.
All right, folks, we're going to do one more little jam for you. Um, what's that? Oh, you want to do that one? Uh, just can't get there from here. We don't know that one with this line. We do know that's the brakes, though. Damn the brakes. Uh. <laughs> Anything's a breeze. It's hard not to get 
1990, I believe. Good Lord. 1990. 1990. That's when we did that damn song. Yeah, that's one of our original songs. Uh, thank you. I'm glad you dig it. Uh, I have many, 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 many songs. Lots of songs. Lots of songs. Uh, one last tune, says Maddie K. We can do that. Why not?
Sunday. Turn to the burner on the bass. That's Dylan on the drums. I'm Gregory Cockery. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for tuning in. And thank you for all the tips that we got. It feels so doggone good. Feels so doggone good. We'll be back on uh, Friday for another show. Friday. We're going to learn a couple of tunes. We'll, we'll learn um, Leg Up, Foot Out. We'll do Tonus Diabolicus. Let's do those two. Oh, great. We just got to remember when it goes to the four, it's a, it's a bar of seven or a bar of four and a bar of three, however you want to look at it. You'll get it. It's, once it's locked, once it's locked, it is loaded. Yeah. Midnight Molly says it's dinner time. Midnight Molly. Midnight Molly. It's hot in this room again. Dab nabbit. Dab nabbit. Uh, thanks, Dylan, Greg, and of course, the burner. You are welcome, Nico. Thanks for tuning in. David, thanks for tuning in. Francesco, Keith Wood. Uh, the little grinsel lamp. That's a nice little lamp dog on it. Hi to Dylan, says Lisa L. Lacus. Uh, Morning Glory. Oh, that's a good one, too. We could do that one. I think we've done that one before. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's only got three chords in it. We can do that one. Yeah, we can do that one, too. Folks, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on Friday. Same bat time. Thank you, Ryan Fitzsimmons. And uh, when were the good old days? We can do that one too. We've done that one before. When were the good old days? When reminiscing something me say we have in. Leland Burke says that amp is killer. Yeah, it's, it's rocking my brain. Where it is? There it is. It's a savage beast. It's a savage beast. Yeah, we'll do a little Moan and Glory. That's a fun one. I'm, uh, this, I'm using the uh, Tone King Royalist as we speak, uh, going through an additional, it's got a single 12, but I'm also going through another 12 on the bottom of that little Saldano cabinet, which is an open back cabinet, in lieu of getting my matching Tone King cabinet. In lieu. Uh, and some Creed. <laughs> All right, folks, thanks for tuning in. Uh, amp drive or pedal? I'm, well, the amp is just on the edge of breaking up, and I'm using my Gristle King overdrive with it. And uh, it takes it over the top. It takes it over the tippy top. Here's just the amp. <laughs> to it and that just takes it so doggone high can it take you higher jay wants to know is it juicy and succulent affirmative. that is affirmative let's do it let's do the tuning for us next song i can't do it 
Do you like the Tone King over the Soldano 30? I don't have the Soldano 30. I got the Soldano 20, which sounds good, but isn't quite loud enough for our activities. So I found that the Tone King, even my, uh, my caulk amp was, uh, was having a hard time keeping up. That's why I started to use two of them. Uh, but I find that this doggone 45 watt Tone King, even though it has an attenuator, theoretically I would use, uh, I just turn it up. And then I can keep up with Toby, Toby's Toby, and, and Dylan's pounding. And in this scenario, it feels great when I when I, you can hear you can hear it no problem. Oh, it's just heard. Yes. I like it. Heard. It's dinner time. It's dinner time. We're gonna go get some delicious nourishment. We'll see you cats on the flippity.